this week we are going to be in Columbus having a lot of family time. It's going to be a lot of outings, a lot of dinners, a lot of not parenting because we're with the grands. <laughs> Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this week's vlog. Last week, I had a talk with my therapist, and she asked me about my governing values, the basic elements that govern my daily decisions. We then considered the gap between what I value most and what I actually do in life. I realized I needed to make more time for the things that truly matter to me, so this week, we're headed back home. Enlightening conversations like this are as accessible as a message, video chat, or phone call with BetterHelp. And getting started is super simple. All you do is fill out a quick questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like. Then BetterHelp can match you with one of their over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and locations. Sometimes life gets turbulent. Allow BetterHelp to help you navigate that turbulence and join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Click the link in my description to start therapy today. Y'all, yeah. what's up? Welcome to the weekly vlog. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot. We, we've gone through a lot today. We are officially in Columbus, we just landed, but traveling with two kids? Yeah. I think we need like a whole story time portion on this because it was literally insane. I don't even know how we're here, I'm serious. Like, we were not supposed to be here, God was on our side. But these babies are no joke when it comes to traveling, especially toddlers, like it was, it was very intense. I was not supposed to get on that flight, girl. The gates were closing and here I come rounding the corner. I gotta give you story time because it was a lot. But anyways, we're here this week. We are gonna be in Columbus having a lot of family time. It's gonna be a lot of outings, a lot of dinners, a lot of not parenting because we're with the grands. <laughs> I'm super excited for this vlog, y'all. I feel like we have not gotten out of the city since before Ezra was born so it's definitely been a minute so we're gonna get into it and I love Columbus Columbus is definitely a vibe they've got such good food so I will talk to y'all once we get settled in and everything like that but Jenna's here with me she's doing better she was going through it a little bit but she's she's doing better now so I'll talk to y'all once we um get to my mother-in-law's house and kind of just unpacking everything like that but yeah i'm so excited you're here girl let's get into y'all we just dropped off the kids and we are headed to go get something to eat child so basically how this day has started well let me give you a rundown of what happened our flight's at 8 40 so i'm like you know last vlog we booked the uber for 6 a.m. I'm thinking that's plenty of time. We're like 40 minutes from the airport, so cool. The Uber gets here, we're sweating, panicking because we have to install two car seats and you know Ubers be like, let's go, let's go. So install two car seats, put the kids in the car, put all the luggage in the back. So we're already like high anxiety, frantic, a lot's going on. Get into the Uber and then Genesis car seat would not like for the life of us go in correctly. So then we get to the airport. Oh, I don't have my ID. I don't even have my wallet. <laughs> How can things get any worse than this? Well, they're going to. So I literally did not have my ID because the night before I went to grab pizza because we weren't about to do dishes. So I was like, let me get some pizza. So my wallet was left in the car. <laughs> so we get to the front of the line after doing TSA. And I'm thinking like, come on, please just, just rock with us, girl. All of our last names are the same. We literally are family. Like, just let me through. You know, this is me. She was like, absolutely not. Well, actually she called her supervisor over and her supervisor was like, absolutely not. You need to go to this desk. So walks me to this desk. Mind you, we have about 20 minutes till we board at this point because the check-in line took way longer than expected. I'm at now like this social security desk. The guy is so rude. He is like not being helpful at all. He's making me feel bad because he's like, why'd you leave it in the Uber? And it's just all types of stuff. Finally, after this dude like calls the social security office. Mind you, Javon is with the kids. Javon has the kids by himself. I am by myself. I am at this kiosk stand trying to get my whole identity verified while Javon has the kids and we have a big double stroller a lot of bags so I felt so bad Javon, Javon was out here fighting but finally y'all right in time they were able to confirm my identity boom walk through TSA and then I had 
four minutes to get onto the flight before those doors close. And if you know, Atlanta has a very big airport, so you have to take like a, a train to get to whatever um, gate you're trying to go to. And I'm at gate C, which is one of like the further gates. I literally have about 30 seconds until this gate closes. So I just had to center myself and I was like, I really have to get into track mode. Y'all know, if you know, I ran track. <laughs> So I'm like, I just have to pretend this is a race. Once these doors open, it's like the gunshot goes off and I've just got to run for my life. And that's exactly what I did. And I think running in the airport is so embarrassing. Like I really feel like there's nothing more embarrassing than running through an airport. And I boarded at 8.30. They closed the gate at 8.30. Somehow we made it here. That's why I'm like, I don't know how we made it. It was God. We're in Ohio now. Oh, girl, I can't wait. When I say we about to kick it, it's giving parents night out every day. How you feel? Exhausted. We're going to go to another Broken Egg at Easton, and then we might do a little bit of shopping after just to get out the house. When I say we about to be outside in this walk, like, it's really giving outside with my man, my man, my man. Actually, this is kind of fun. Like, we have not left the house since we had Ezra. Really right. since before, like two months before. Right. We have not left the house since August. We ain't left the house and you haven't been pregnant in over a year. Right. Because I'm like, something's different this time. I'm not pregnant. It's up and it's stuck. Oh, yeah. We're about to have a good time. All right, y'all. This is a blueberry mimosa. It looks good, though. Let's do a taste test. Ooh, oh, this is good. Javon got a cranberry mimosa. Oh no, this is a margarita. Okay, so for our food, I got a crab benedict. Or no, I got the shrimp creole benedict. Javon got the crab benedict. And then we're gonna share the cinnamon toast waffle. We got a lot of food, y'all. I love going to Easton though. I feel like Columbus is nice, y'all. Like, no lie. Me and Javon have definitely considered some plans. We'll talk about it a little later in the vlog, but I love Columbus and like our whole family is here. I feel like Atlanta yeah, is- we could drop the kids off. You know, dudes, drop the kids off. <laughs> like literally we have a huge family here, y'all. I mean, cousins, aunties, uncles, everybody. It would just be so nice to have that support and that community around us. But we'll see, we might do a little house touring this vlog, just to scope the scenery, yeah. I'ma scope the scenery out. You guys need anything else? Um, this is the Creole Shrimp Benedict with a little side of potatoes. But this is a cinnamon waffle, or is this a waffle? Cinnamon roll waffle? And this looks nuts. We not worried about dieting on this trip. We're gonna eat what we wanna eat because your girl's been putting in that work. This is the cinnamon roll waffle. I just want to try by In Israel, they put cream cheese on their eggs. You know, whatever the kid is, that when he can sneak. That's good. I give that a 9.5 out of 10 on some cake. I'm taking every moment. Hey, Tina Fan, Jenna turned the fan on. It is day two, well, technically, no, it's day two because we got here early yesterday. It's day two in Ohio. I'm feeling good. Hair is looking good. I feel like I cracked the code with my edges and it's just giving. Like, I don't need the too big, thick. I just need light all the way around and I feel like it looks so good. It makes my face look more like cute. I don't know. I'm feeling it though. But we are about to head to the gym. I'm actually going to work my mom out, which I'm super excited for. My mom is actually here as well. So we literally have the whole family here. And whenever we have the whole family, it's lit. Remember when I told y'all yesterday we was outside? Girl, I came back inside and fell asleep. <laughs> Me and Jamal were like, we are literally old. Like, we had one margarita and went right to bed. <laughs> it was crazy. So, 
today we're semi outside we're gonna go to the gym work out and then we're gonna go to this really nice little workspace so Javon and I can get some work done because we still do have to work I know it's a lot of family fun chill but we still do have to do some work and then come back and probably have like games and all types of stuff when I say when we come here it is so fun it's just like always a relax reset kids are taken care of and it just feels so good that's why it's like it would be really nice to move here <laughs> possibly and to just always have the community and support because baby it really does take a village so tomorrow i think we're gonna do a little bit of house touring nothing set in stone but we're gonna do a little bit of house touring just to see the areas catch the vibes because we really do want bigger house the house we have right now is just not big enough we want to have that big space to host everybody to have everybody over you know that type of stuff so i will catch y'all at the gym we're gonna do a little workout it's gonna be good we're gonna have a good day all right, so my initial client, AKA my mom, bailed on me. So we have a new client here. You know, I heard a lot about uh, bods by my. Bods by my. And uh, so, you know, I'm just excited to just get this workout in. And also, she don't know this, but I'm actually just using this free first session just to hit on her and uh, <laughs> see what's good with her. So. No hitting allowed in my classes. So today we're gonna do a full body workout. It's gonna be a nice little burn, a nice Saturday burn, nothing like a Saturday workout. So let's get into it, y'all. If your glory was to come in, let it fall. We want it all. Your fire is consuming. Feel this way. Just got done with our warm up. First set is going to be 12 calf raises. 12 lateral pulls, 12 dead bug extensions. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I'll show you. You're the fire, you're the, fire. the refiner. I want to be consumed. Oh, I want to be tried by fire. Yeah. Purify. Lord, take whatever you desire. Yeah. Alright y'all, we just got home from the gym. Me and Javon are about to head out. I told y'all we outside. So we had a really good workout and Javon said he felt good. He said he felt the burn because you know, working out with men, they just, they swear they know. But at the end of the day, he gave me my props. He said it was a good workout. Shout out to my trainer, Allie. She put that workout together and it was chef's kiss. It was so good. But we are about to go out. I need to grab a new pair of sneakers because your girl's in the gym and the sneakers I have right now are just not giving and they don't fit. Like I said, my feet have grown a size and a half since being pregnant. So we're gonna go get some new shoes, might go to the movies. Who knows where we're gonna land? It's parents day out the whole week. So let's go have a good day out. Hair is giving, edges are giving. That edge control is the truth. It is the truth, y'all. It laid my edges the whole entire workout and then I took a shower and redid them and they just, they look so fun. So I'll catch y'all outside. We're gonna have a little day. My camera cut out, but the moral of the story is Javon's done. He's no longer a healthy king. Uh, I'm a I healthy to, queen. What I said was we don't need to put titles on what our diet is. The only reason people do that is because they're trying to figure out what Facebook group they need to join. <laughs> and I feel like it's unnecessary, bro. Okay, so we're gonna go try to find these sneakers some little gym sneakers and i heard marshall's was having real real good sales so hopefully they got something yeah. these are not gym shoes but aren't these so cute see this is my thing now that i wear a nine it's just like please give it up like your feet are so big <laughs> but these are cute and then i found my mother-in-law we're gonna get my mother-in-law these 
these pumas and then we're gonna find my mom a pair of sneakers too so we should all go with like the cute little black and oh these are cute because they match too we all got the same sneaker like in different fonts right these are so cute for jenna too big right yeah those are way too big marshall's got some little shoes though these look at these little little fake air forces javon for tima <laughs> okay yeah for sure i'm gonna get these we gotta find my mom one my mom be wearing like little like my mom low-key be wearing something. Right, like she do be. <laughs> she be wearing little, but she needs a pair of sneakers. She needs a pair of sneakers. Take it for her. Tell her what you need. I feel like she needs a pair every days. Like these aren't bad. These little white ones. Like these would be fun, but I think they're too big. <laughs> Not the rainbow print, Javon. Oh no, these are sketchers. I can't do her like that. And my thing is, this is when you've right, gone too far. Why are these shoes vegan? What does that even mean? Exactly. I get my big feet from my mom. Love you, mom. No shade, but we definitely both have big feet. Hey, y'all, here's how they look. They're so cute. I just cannot get over how big my feet are. Like, and listen, it's, it's okay to have big feet, but it's just like, dang, girl. My feet <laughs> got huge overnight. So... I really love these. I feel like I would wear these, but I'm gonna get these for my mother-in-law. Uh, they don't have it. They were smaller. They got a seven. And then I found some for the gym, but they were also too small. And then everything in me is like just troop it out, but my feet be hurting if I don't have the right size. So, y'all, is this cute for the gym? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or is it giving like year a mother, like for sure a mom? Giovanni will say yes. <laughs> this one's cute. Or like when I do my hot mom walks. It's probably something that I'm never going to use. So let's just... I'm trying to like... Like I don't want to wear just regular bras to the gym. I'm trying to be like more, you know, conservative. So I feel like these are a good alternative. It covers more, especially because I have like a bigger chest now. I'm not really trying to wear bra bras, so I think these will be cute. Ended up finding them in two colors, gray, forest green, mint green, white. And I'm just going to go with these for the gym. They are low-key giving granny, but they're neutral and they'll go with anything. So, And they're the only ones that fit. <laughs> so it's kind of all I had to work with. But they do feel nice on. Then I'm just going to pick up... Ooh, see now, if I was in Atlanta, I would get me a little yoga mat because I definitely need my own yoga mat for the gym. And this is cute. But we're not bringing that on the plane. Everything in me just wants to go over here and just buy my baby some clothes. But this girl has so many clothes, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm not even gonna start. Cause if I start, I'm not gonna stop. But I do need to buy some undergarments. <laughs> and then we're probably gonna go to East Stand to go to the movie theater. So let me finish up in here and I'll talk to you on the car. Yo, I swear Ohio is just selling me more and more. Easton is just a vibe like it's just the perfect mixture of like city yet it still feels like family perfect, perfect, suburbs perfect, perfect. but me and my man are going to a movie what are we going to see book of clearance we're going to see book of clearance it's been so fun just getting out we ran home real quick to feed Ezra but well I ran home real quick to feed Ezra but we're about to go we gotta hurry up girl we're about to be late but I'm gonna give you a movie review after the movie it's given a nice balance of mother and wife and just me. Like, I just feel like I've been dating my husband the past two days and it feels amazing. But I just feel like getting out is nice. This trip was definitely much needed. And besides the airport run, like everything's been super smooth and it definitely makes me want to come to Ohio more often, especially for like considering migrating. And this week we have some house tours. Yeah, we're going to do some house tours this week, y'all. So I know that you got a lot of followers actually that live here. I know. Columbus. I so met one. Me. I didn't tell you. When I went to Piata yesterday, I met one of my supporters. For real? Yeah, she was you like, are. hi, Maya. I was like, how do you know my name? Girl, stop <laughs> it. Oh, my God. I'm about to pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just met one of my supporters. Oh, no. what's up, guys? This is, I'm shaking. You felt it. Oh, my God. It's okay, stop. girl. Take God, it's so good. It's so good. I did not want to come to the mall today. Beautiful. What'd you go see today? We're about to go see a movie right now. We're seeing um, 
What am I here for? <laughs> what am I here for? I just want tickets. Oh, the chosen. Oh, we were gonna go see that, but we decided to see this one. You're my girl. You're my girl, girl. Oh, yeah. like, I love it. So my husband, he grew up here. Um, so we came to visit like our in-laws, well, my in-laws and stuff, but we're thinking of moving here. Yeah, we're thinking of moving here in the next two years. It's not decided yet, but we're thinking about it. <laughs> it was so good so to meet good. you. Enjoy your movie. Oh Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was so sweet. All right, y'all, we're going to watch a movie for real. But one of my supporters pulled up, so I had to go see my good sis. But let's get into this movie. morning girl so it is actually the next day update on the whole movie situation <laughs> so we ended up having to leave halfway through because I got a text that Ezra was crying and I needed to come feed him we literally probably made it to like 45 minutes the main character Clarence basically the whole thing was he was trying to be Jesus not like Jesus like he was trying to be Jesus in like a very mischievous deceitful way like not genuine he wasn't trying to be a disciple this man was trying to be jesus i think the character arch is going to be because i saw a preview i think a character arch is going to be that like he has an actual encounter with jesus and turns into a believer so basically it's like a sinful man turns into like a man of god i think i think that's what's going to happen because that's only what makes enough sense because this man was definitely giving the girls blasphemy so i can't give y'all a full review i don't know i can't rate it because i barely watched the movie we had to come home but it was super exciting to meet one of my supporters when i come to columbus i feel like i'd be meeting my girls like y'all really stay out here which is maybe even more of a reason why we should move out here i did want to do some house touring today but first i need to go to a coffee shop and do some work i have a vlog to edit hopefully i get it done for y'all today your girl's been on her zoom but Sometimes it be feeling like I'm not on my Zoom because I'm not getting stuff out when I need to. But I promise y'all, it's not me. Like, it's not me. These brands just be taking forever to approve stuff. So we're going to go to the coffee shop. I'm going to edit. We're also going to strategize for the launch of the agency. We're actually launching the agency this week. I don't know if it was this vlog or last vlog. I talked about how we're launching an influencer marketing agency. So we're just going to do some brainstorming, get on a team call and just kind of plan things out because we are going to be launching it this week, which is super exciting. But also I meant to give y'all a haul last night, but I was way too tired. My eyebrow pencil broke in my little travel bag. So I just picked up this one, just a random little eyebrow pencil girl. Like I just needed something to fill in my brows with. Oh, we forgot to give this to Jenna. Genesis loves animals, y'all. Loves, absolutely loves animals. So we got her this little animal book that's got like little fuzzies. When I get home, I need to make her her Valentine's Day basket. And then Easter's coming up too, so we have that. But she loves animals, so we picked that up for her. I found this shapewear, which I will let y'all know how it works. It's from Skinny Girl, and you can wear your own bra with it. There's like a cutout here. And then it's a full body all the way down to the thighs. Hopefully, girl, it slims me out because that's what I be needing nowadays. It tones your tummy, slims your thighs. Which I don't care if my thighs are slim, but I definitely need to tone the tummy. Okay? And it's from the brand Skinny Gill. Skinny Gill. So we'll see how that works out for me. Then I found this for Genesis. It is so cute, y'all. She's probably not going to wear it, but look at how cute it is. It's a little Disney bracelet. This is not intended for consumers under 15 great i wanted to get her a necklace because i feel like she would actually wear the necklace and not try to take it off but they were way too big for her neck but this is super cute because you can adjust it up here so we'll see if this little girl wears it she probably won't i grabbed a couple of pieces too you know marshall's has some cute little jewelry just some little dainty everyday this so cute but i was like i want to add a little judge so i also found this one just very simple to the point cute like this stack would be super cute i'm probably gonna wear that today and then i also got this sweatsuit which i'll show you all when i stand up it's a little crowded in here so i don't know if i'll be able to in this room but i'll show you all my outfit and yeah so we're basically going to go to the coffee shop to do a little bit of banter <laughs> i will catch y'all over there 
and yeah, bye girl. So I'll enjoy this moment. It's the day that the Lord has made. Yesterday, I did not talk to y'all much because I felt horrible. I swore, like, yeah, girl caught COVID for 24 hours because my whole body ached. I had to take, like, baths, Epsom salt baths. I had my mom massage me down. It was, like, a whole thing. I thought I was down for the count, but thankfully, I feel so much better this morning, and we have a lot to do. We're actually on a little work date, Javon and I. We have a couple of calls with our team today. I actually have to finish editing a vlog for y'all. I'm really considering hiring an editor. The thing is though, like every editor I've come across, they just don't understand me. Like they just don't understand the fullness of me or truth. Yeah, I don't know, it's up in the air. Today is really a work day, it's Monday. So even though we're home, we're still working. We're still getting to it. We're actually launching the agency on Tuesday. Hold on, we gotta pray. So yeah, we're launching the agency tomorrow, so we just have a lot of last minute stuff that we need to tighten up, some calls with the team and everything like that, but we're super excited, y'all. We know that this agency is gonna be super impactful on the influencer generation, and it's something that we've been praying about for so long, and I just, I'm excited to see it finally come to pass. So we're gonna take these meetings. I'm going to finish editing this vlog for y'all. This vlog's gonna be long. It's a little bit late. It's two days late, but it's it's worth it because it's almost two hours long. <laughs> these are the bracelets that I showed y'all yesterday. These are how they look on. They're super cute, super just simple, dainty. I love this little link one. I just think it's a really cute stack. And then I just have my rings on, my watch from JBW, another ring from Amazon, some cute little basics and then I just have a black tee with those light wash fashion over jeans from last week's um, vlogs that's what I'm doing today y'all so I will talk to y'all once we get this all situated I don't know what else we have in store today but I'm sure it's gonna be something so I'll talk to y'all a bit later Y'all, we were Asian, okay. so it's gonna be a problem. Y'all, we're going out with the girls. My two cousins and Javon. So, the girls and Javon. We're going to Basso, it's a little rooftop. We're going to my hood, okay? We're going to Dublin. We're going to Dublin. Me and my boo are in the back. No, she didn't hang up on me. So we're with our fam. You know, parents night out. What is it, like food or? It's food, drinks, bars, igloos. Igloos. Okay. Uh, they got ice skating, zip lining. What? But you know, like, I ain't about to get on nobody court. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm definitely about to zip line. What? <laughs> oh, you zip line outside? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So we're headed over there. I'm super excited. I pumped for Ezra so we can leave the house for longer than last time. We probably got like six hours. So we're definitely about to have a time. I'll update y'all when we get there. We're going to Vasa. Oh, okay. downtown Dublin. That's Check out the bridge. And you just steady talking, talking about this bridge. Talking about I she fell in love. love she fell in love on the bridge. <laughs> so oh my gosh. Oh, this is pretty. Nice. Baby, when I say it's looking real good for Ohio these days, girl. It's looking real, real good. dinner it was so good did y'all see that salmon it was bomb we're at pins now we're gonna do a little bit of bowling 
I don't know y'all, all the lanes are taken and they're talking about 45 minutes or we might go up north. So I'm gonna loop y'all in because I don't know. But the ring is ringing. The ring is Welcome to Dublin. Asia Come been our tour guide. Yes. If you don't know, now you know. This is, this is a little baby tag. We, <laughs> we ain't going to the hills yet. The problem with me is I be ready to go. <laughs> I'm trying to stick it out to be a trooper. I be ready to go back to my kids. <laughs> It's just too much, girl. I haven't been like outside, and we're not even outside, girl. We're at pins. Like, it is not outside, but the most I'll do is go to dinner. So, after dinner, it's like, what else is there to do? Hey, man. Hey. This dude's steady trying to hit on me. Hey, so what you a vlogger or something? Like, you got uh, this camera. Yeah, so I do YouTube. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's up, up y'all? What's up, y'all? You know when them dudes are always trying to get all up in somebody else's little thing? What's up, y'all? Yeah. Stupid. Where you from? I'm married. Where you from? Like, no, I'm they, married. And then you over here, like, trying to do your vlog, and they just be trying to talk to you. Right. They don't pick up on the hat. You said you married. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Dang. What he do? He a, like an NFL player or something? Um, No, he's an entrepreneur. Okay. That's what's up. Um, then from there, if somebody see that, they don't even know what to say from there. They're like, oh, okay. That's what's up. Well, enjoy your night. to dinner and then went to pens and we were supposed to go somewhere else but then my cousin was like I don't feel like doing nothing else <laughs> so we just went home but it was fun to get out at least and today we are actually going to brunch with a subscriber one of my girls so I told y'all that I met one of my subs in the movie theater but we didn't get to chat and I was like I really want to sit down and really want to talk to her I've actually never done this with any of my subscribers so I was like girl let's let me take you to brunch let me take you and your friend to brunch both her and her friend watch me they've been loyal supporters for years so I was like girl we gotta get into the tea I'm so excited like I'm literally about to sit down with one of my girls like I be talking on the internet but feeling your energy in person is just gonna be so amazing so I am literally just making it right on time girl i had to push back twice because these kids but it's 2 30 so we're about to head in we're going to tupelo honey this is in i don't know because y'all know i do not know ohio like that but all i know is that my mom recommended it so we're gonna go over here and have just a little girl chat but i'm super excited so let's go It is a new day. Um, I didn't catch up with y'all after, sorry, my vlogging's been a little bit questionable just because I'm enjoying time with family, y'all, and I've been soaking it in. But yesterday I had brunch with my subscribers, Sky and Michaela, and it was one of those moments where it's just like, I need to soak this in. It felt so good, y'all. Genesis? so good just to sit down with one of my girls like I love reading y'all's comments I love texting y'all but being able to sit with one of y'all hear your story feel your energy I was rejoicing and praising God because these are subscribers who have followed me since New York okay if you know you know and they were just so touched by my story and my testimony and I was just praising God that I could have impact on them you know I was really just rejoicing like God is so good and I love the community 
that we're building it's so special like we are really a sisterhood i want y'all to know that i love and care for you so so much i literally pray for y'all constantly and just to actually sit down and meet one of my girls but today is a new day and we're actually on a family walk me javon and jenna we took the stroller and we went to this little coffee shop to grab some coffee grab a little biscuit and then we actually have a facial me and my me and my me and my me and are celebrating valentine's day today because valentine's day is next week and we're not gonna have no babysitter so we're like let's just do it now so he has a whole day plan for me first thing up is facials and i'm super excited i haven't had a facial in like over a year so it's a couple's facial we're both gonna be giving a girl's glowy skin after that we're gonna do a little bit of shopping and then he's taking me out to dinner so he's a romance he's a romance so it's gonna be an exciting day i'm definitely gonna pick up and vlog a little bit more today <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i just i haven't been home in so long so i've been trying to soak it in but i have been trying to show y'all like the eventful stuff that has been happening and yeah so today is going to be super fun i feel super blessed thank you god for a new day thank you god for my family for my supporters Thank you, God, for just letting me experience the beauty of a new day. I pray that everybody has an amazing day, that everybody is covered by the blood of Jesus, and that we can all rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have an amazing day, y'all. Y'all, we just got to the facial spot. First of all, I freaking busted my butt outside. I face planted on the pavement. It was horrible. Look at how beautiful this place is. This building is gorgeous. We're looking for the facial place. Oh, we definitely got to get a little picture right here. Yeah, y'all, I busted my butt and it was actually so embarrassing. But we are going to one of our good friend's sister's esthetician situation. She's an esthetician. She does facials. So her brother hooked us up and we're going to get some couples facials. And I'm super excited about it. This is so dope. It's like pretty much that sweet life of Zach and Cody. <laughs> Did you ever watch uh, Sweet Life on Deck? I hated sweet life. No, Sweet Life on Deck gave. Uh, it was like not my generation. It was yeah. mine. I was all that Ken and Kale because it's like Peter where was. is what was his name? Moses. Who was a Moses? Motsi? the Bellman, or not the Bellman? Y'all know who I'm talking about. This trip has been so fire, y'all. In the downtown, it looks like a very low-key version of New York, like New York City, and I love it. Okay, candles burning. Thank you. It smells good in here. Okay, y'all. Uh, I can't wait. Right. Hi. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh, it is smells good. It smells so good. Thank you so much. Amaya. Oh, nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, it's so I nice. You, you are stupid. <laughs> okay, y'all. She stepped out for a sec, but here's Javon's face before. Uh, y'all, but I be getting compliments on my skin already, y'all, uh, because I got a pretty good skin routine, so. She gonna get him right. I'm looking for somebody I can call. Looking for the only one I can get my own. Tell me that it's true. You, you, what you wanna do? Do, do, make me know. You can be my bitch, I'll do home. You can give me extra credit, baby. I'll do home. Do what you wanna do. Do, do, do. the skin is skinning she literally did me so good I didn't even know my face was as rough as it was because now it is so soft she did oil planing planning oil planing it's like dermaplaning but it's for more of like a glowy look because dermaplaning dries out your skin to get all the dead skin off where this one I don't know the science behind it all I know is my skin looks good and I'm feeling good 
Javon got his done too. Know, my nose is a little red and irritated. Yeah, Javon was over here tweaking for the extractions. I love an extraction. I love pick out all the stuff, please. It felt mad good up until that point, and I didn't know that part was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my eyes was watering. I felt like I was going to go into cardiac arrest. No, it was super relaxing, though. We're at Easton. We're about to go to Zara real quick so we can grab something to wear tonight. Because, like I said, we got a little date night, little Valentine's Day situation going on. But I just love Easton. It's such a vibe. It feels like a Christmas fairy tale. <laughs> I love my skin. It looks so good so glowy and she was so nice y'all if you're in ohio you have to hit her up basically i've been using that bha from paula's choice for way too long it was actually making my skin raw remember last vlog i was like why does my skin look red my skin was becoming raw from it y'all and then it started to peel it was not good so i'm gonna stop using that and then she also said with my sensitivity level i only need to use my vitamin c like three times a week so definitely going to be making those changes and then i'm also going to be purchasing a nice cinnamide because that's really good it worked really well on my skin when she did it and it's good for like hydrating but we just got to zara all right y'all we are gonna find a dress for tonight we also need to hurry up because ezra needs to eat it doesn't even have to be a dress but just something cute this is so cute i wish it would fit me oh my god these are not Y'all, these are so cute. Please look at the price. That is insane. There's so much stuff on sale, but these would not fit me. But they're so cute. So cute. I love these so much. Oh, baby. All right, y'all, Zara is having a crazy sale. I mean, the sale is like nuts. The jeans are like $7.99 and it's wild, but nothing fits. Yeah, it's definitely one of those moments where, you know, could get emotional, but we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna just have to go somewhere else. Everything is like a freaking size zero, literally. Every, everything on sale is like a size zero, size one. And then even like the regular items are still super, super small. Like the baby tees. But they do have some really cute stuff. Just nothing fits. So, womp womp. But might end up going somewhere else because I literally have nothing to wear tonight. So, I gotta find something. I just don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be, girl. Y'all, the, light, the lighting in here is not the greatest. And you can see my camera's glitching because it's trying to pick up on the light. So, I'm about to get dressed for tonight. I'm about to do my makeup real quick and we are headed to the restaurant i'm gonna do the same makeup look i always do so it's not gonna be anything different but this trip so far has been amazing and i'm actually super sad to leave tomorrow <clears throat> i feel like we've had such a good time and i know my makeup is about to apply, apply so good because i just got that facial so i'm excited to see how my makeup turns out but the lighting is not giving so i will talk to y'all when we get to the restaurant i'm just gonna wear the white dress that i brought y'all like i did not find anything at zara it was a very sad affair but i did bring this backup dress so i'm just gonna end up wearing that and yeah it's still gonna be a good night i'm gonna breathe through it child but yeah let's celebrate we launched our company today y'all which is a huge milestone mavon is officially live so we are going to celebrate with Yay. some dinner <laughs> what's up y'all so we just got to hyde park that's where we're gonna be eating tonight it looks so so nice girl when i say i'm about to eat down so let me show y'all the outfit that's how we're looking tonight it's the same dress i wore for christmas but you know, I had to judge it up, do a little, a little clutch, a little something, girl, something. So I'm super excited. Let's go have a great day night. Y'all, 
y'all, this restaurant is so nice. The menu is so good. I think I'm gonna get the salmon, the garlic mashed potatoes, and the sauteed spinach and mushrooms. You know I'm a sucker for some salmon, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with. But it's so beautiful in here. The vibes are on point. Javon ended up ordering a bottle of Bella. I think it says Bella Gloss Pinot Noir. It's the Las Ultras one, and it is so good. If you don't like like a really pungent wine, Pinot Noirs are so good. And this tastes amazing. No see, and that's because I forgot to film my outro to the vlog. Yeah, it was a lot going on, but I feel like this trip was so well needed, okay? Just spending time with family and just getting out of the city is just a must, and I'm realizing we need to do that more. So expect some more little trips here and there, nothing crazy. I think we are gonna start planning our anniversary trip. I'm not sure where we're gonna go for our anniversary yet, but we definitely wanna do it big. So if you have any travel recommendations, let us know, but this trip was so good. Just spending time with family, getting out with my man, my man, my man. Like that dinner, mm. that salmon, that little crab, the little lump crab I had. Oh my gosh. If you're in Columbus, definitely check out that restaurant. It was so good. I feel like the service was great. It was very much like a nice atmosphere. So yeah, I am going to be picking up back on the vlog. I'm back on my Zoom for y'all. I'm back on my Zoom. So just trust that your girl is going to be providing the content for y'all. So I'll see y'all next week. We're going to chit chat. Thank you for picking up my call and I will call you later. Bye.